everybody, it's Badge, and today we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this is a small indie game that's currently in development. It's very much a beta at the moment, uh, to the point where it isn't really a game as such. It's more of a toy. Uh, features are coming um, as and when, but it's like an open beta thing. Um, basically, let's get on and have a look, shall we? This somewhat uninspiring scene is your vehicle assembly building and your launch pad. Now, the idea of the game, in inverted quotes, is build a spaceship and send your dudes into space. Um, as I say, it's there are going to be achievements and, I don't know, moon landings and, and what have you, but at the moment it's pretty much um, just see how far you can go or even get off the launch pad. Now the great thing about this, and let's go into vehicle assembly program, we'll skip the tutorial, um, is all these modules are held in fol separate folders in the in the um, file system so there is already a community building new bits and bobs to add in as you see it's quite a small selection at the moment but you can download user made stuff already um, this is one that I'm building but it's not quite working yet because I haven't quite sussed out the uh, the system and we've got let's start from the start We've got fuel tanks and the rockets that go with the fuel tanks and we've got solid fuel boosters. Um, these can be, the thrust can be altered with the keyboard. These are just constant whoosh. Uh, it's command pods, so that's where people sit. Um, and this is an anti-spin stabiliser device basically, an anti-puke device. Um, the decouplers hold things on the side of the rockets, extra boosters, this is a circular coupler, it will become obvious in a minute. This is a triple, so it allows you to put three rockets on the base of one, some little stabilising wings, parachutes, need that, otherwise you die when you land. Decals and crew are empty at the moment, uh, no doubt there will be some more. So this is your pod, you can move it around and you see these little blue dots. Uh, it's right mouse button to pan around, uh, hold middle mouse button and drag to zoom in and out. Click and hold with the left um, to move it. These dots are the stacking nodes as they're called, uh, points where you can attach things. So let's build something quite simple. Um, I'm going to add a stabiliser. Click, there it is. Um, in fact, no I'm not. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to add a decoupler. Then a stabiliser. Then... I have another decoupler. Um, no, in fact, I'm going to change my mind again. Put a fuel tank on. And a rocket. Um, let's put a parachute on the top, just to be sure. So that could be our basic flying around in space device. Drag that up. If you click on one of these and drag it, everything below it will stay with it, which is quite nice for moving things around. And you can see we've got stages here. Um, and we'll come on to that in a minute. For now, let's have a triple. Let's move that up a bit more. And see this has got three points on the bottom. D, I said bottom. Um, and then let's have this. Now, if you just slap that there, it does that. And he's got a symmetry button here. That's two point symmetry, three, four, six, eight, and none. So if I'm on three, 
click on that, you've automatically got three. That's lovely. However, what I didn't do, oops, what I need to do is move you out of the way and put in another decoupler there. Okay, um, let's have some more solids. Oh, you see, symmetry's gone back because I clicked on something that couldn't be symmetrized. if that's a word. Um, so, yes, this decoupler goes with all these. That's a stage. Now... That's not going to be very good because those are going to blow those off. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I am childish. Um, let's put those on. Now the thing is, you see, now I've done that. But I want all these together. So you and you which means drag you up here and this is a small floor I found in the game so far it's empty stages you can't get rid of um, and so I want these all to fire at the same time so I'm, I'm really using this not as a decoupler but as a, as a stage holder as it were holding them all together so they're going to decouple at the same time. So we have six rockets boosting. Now, again, you see we've got a problem here, but doesn't matter, doesn't really matter. Right, slap those on there, slap those on there. Again, I want these all boosting at the same time, so you move those up, move those up. It's quite nice that you can move them around, don't get me wrong. It's just I wish that... Um, no, you see, that's totally wrong. That's right. Just give a little bit more stability there. Um, again, oh, it really screws with your head. Okay, so as it stands, if we launch this, all these six rockets will fire. And when they are out, we'll blow these stages, which is all of those and these. Then these six rockets can start. That's there. We'll move you guys up there as well. So that will blow and they will blow and all that will come off. I mean I don't really need these to blow at all but I have to have them on there so. And then this liquid fuel will start. Oh let's bung some more SAS jobs on. Anti, anti pukes. So, oh Bobbin's pinging away. Um, we'll move these up here don't think it really matters that much but we want them on there so that when that pops there you don't disappear right good should we give that a go you can save your rocket you can load your rockets you can start from scratch so we'll skip that tutorial as well so here's our spaceship um, Here's your height, here's your speed, up means going up speed, down means going down speed, here's your clock, obviously, this is your 3D globe direction gubbins. This tells you what stage you're at, um, you see stage 8, um, and then you've got keyboard controls for your, um, you see I'm saying this and this cursor's probably not going to show up, so bottom left pitch and then we've got roll as well flashing light says we're ready to go I've got the hiccups once again um, and on the bottom right you can see our three pilots uh, Kerbals, and they give a visual indication of how the flight's going so 
we'll press space to fire the first stage, which is empty. So we'll get nothing. And we'll seven, stage seven, and then stage six. <laughs> surprisingly happy because he's normally scared of everything and we're still floating into space but now we have no power so if we're out of the gravitational field which we are not quite then we would have floated in space forever because we've got no power now no rockets no nothing let's zoom in on that Right, so we're dropping. Okay, the windbrush. Bill's breaking it. Jim Dye loves everything, so he doesn't care less. And Bob's fairly even about it, which is surprising because, as I say, he's scared of everything. But we didn't quite make it into space. Notice there's two marks on the gimbal thing. One of the purple one is the space station. Let's get rid of the parachute. And the green one is the red moon, I think. Six, five, parachute. Happy and boff. There you go. 